when it comes to the internet, man, it's so fucking hateful. And I know I sound like so hypocritical because I'm a man of the internet, obviously. But, <coughs> bro, the internet hate is ridiculous. It really makes me fucking just sad sometimes when I go. This is why I try not to doom scroll. Because every time I get on Facebook and I, I just watch some random video of somebody doing something nice. Or somebody just showing off a skill of theirs. And it's the number one comment. No matter what. Every time. It feels like the number one comment is something hateful. Or somebody who's an internet expert. Saying, well, if it was me, I would do this. Or as a person who's trained MMA for a week, I can tell you this. Or it's another thing of, oh, you fucking did this. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's just like, Damn. It's like, I know there's hateful people in the world, but shit, it's not like this in the real life. Most people, for the most part, you go to work, you mind your business, you go home. It's rare that every time you have a conversation with somebody, somebody comes out of the woodworks and just says, well, actually, I think that's stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you work at a place with coworkers, yeah, every now and then you got that one hateful guy, but it's rare. And even when he comes around, you know what I mean? Eventually, you kind of y'all kind of push him to the side. You know what I'm saying? So it feels like every time you get on the internet, it's that one hateful motherfucker. It could be 10 comments on something. Just 10. And it's still a hateful motherfucker. It's like, man, there's only 10 comments on there and it's still hate. Bro, so when people got on to LeBron saying he couldn't take the heat, it's like, you couldn't either. He has 150 million followers, bro. You know how hard it is to hear that shit all day long about your son? All day long about your this, your that? Bro, we all fall victim to social media, man. We all do. Or at least the vast majority of us fall victim to social media. Dude, I'm a I'm a small content creator. Shit, I get tired of seeing comments. That's why I don't read them. You know, it's just like everybody wants to talk shit. And even though the vast majority of people don't talk shit, the one comment that pops up that's always like number one voted is the one that's hating against you. It's like you just popped up to try to live your life. And then immediately get on there and it's like, oh, man, I can't believe this guy. This guy's an idiot. It's like, bro, all I said was, I didn't even say anything like that crazy. All I said was, man, I, this is how I feel. Shit, I didn't say it was right. I said, this is how I feel. I, I, and so it's like, there's always somebody on here who wants to just hate whatever you're doing, hate your life, hate you. And I just don't get it. Like I said, it's only the internet. And I know sometimes it may just be bots. But it's like, why would you even create bots to just hate? And there's so many bots, especially on X or Facebook. There's so many bots that just rage bait the fuck out of you, man. And that's why I hate doom scrolling. And one of the reasons I have. So I'm a Lakers fan, right? I'm a Spurs fan first. I'm a Lakers fan right now because the Spurs have been butt. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm a Lakers fan and a Spurs fan. But Spurs fan first, if I had a choice between, you know, obviously the Spurs and the Lakers can't play in the finals, but if the Spurs and the Lakers were in the Western Conference Finals, oh, man, I got to go Spurs, bro. Um, I'm a big LeBron fan, basketball fan. I'm not a LeBron fan outside of basketball. I don't believe in his, you know, the way he thinks. But nonetheless, um. Yeah, big, big guy on that. One of the reasons I got away from the NBA is because, bro, being a Lakers fan, I ain't never met such a toxic fucking environment in my life. I'm not even kidding. Like, even the Laker fans who were diehard Laker fans who were making YouTube videos were like, bro, this is, the toxicity is to a all new high. Like, it was so toxic that people, like, really wanted to stop being Laker fans. And one, this big YouTuber who's a... Um, who makes Laker videos, Lakers Nation, I'm sure y'all heard of them, even he had to say, bro, it's fucking with people's mental health. Like, he had his, he had people telling him it's fucking with their mental health. Like, being a Lakers fan was so toxic. So toxic, especially when Russell was there. And so, but that's just because X is a toxic place. And that's where I learned the internet hate is just at an all-time high. Like, I get hating on people. There's always been critics. And there's always trolls. But, I mean, it feels like the trolls are just... I mean, it's like motherfuckers, they... You remember that episode, what that, that episode of South Park where the dude was just sitting around 
and all he did was just make troll comments all day long. He just sits at a computer, this big old dude. And that's, that was just like his life's goal. I think it was South Park. I could be wrong. But the whole point is, it's like, man, it feels like there's just way more people now that just sit at home. And like I said, even if they're bots, there's a motherfucker out there who creates bots to hate. Like, why is hate so big? Like I used to, like I said, I used to understand negativity. There, everybody got negative comments. But it seems like, bro, people can't post shit without getting somebody at I mean, it's not like a little bit of hate. It's not even critical, like a criticism. Not like, hey, man, I think you should do this. If you're a big uh, live streamer or a big YouTuber, I, I mean, I'm not saying I can fully relate. I used to be able to because when I used to live stream a lot more, bro, it's like every time I went to go click that live button, I got immediately got fat ass inward this that it was just like bro is it that serious and i mean people would hate on the i used to have guys who would come to my live streams get banned create a new account come back just to fucking hate on me you know and it wasn't always my appearance it'd just be something i'd be doing they'd be like you shouldn't be doing that i can't believe this and then when they get banned because they won't shut up they come back and say, why are you so sensitive? I can't believe we can't even talk. And it's like, bro, damn, like your whole life is hating. Like, I'm not even a huge streamer. I maybe had 10 viewers in my streams, man. And I still was getting guys coming in there, creating new new accounts. Just, I had to ban maybe 100 people, bro. You know how fucking ridiculous that is to have to ban 100 people? Oh, I can't get that fucking air bubble out of there. You know how crazy it is to ban 100 people, man? And I, I don't even have that many followers. That's insanity. But, man, I I, I just don't understand it. I, I really don't. I'm really trying to figure out. We just watched Lord Herc, who talked about live streaming and how much hate he gets. This is the most freeing live streams I've ever done. When, before I left live streaming the first time, well, the only time. Bro, it got so toxic. Bro, it got so toxic. That it... it I, and it's embarrassing, but I did exactly what Lord Herc did. I was like, bro, I'm out of this. I said, I'm never live streaming. I just said I was never live streaming again, but I said, it's going to be a while. I stopped live streaming for eight months. Because it was like, bro, I'm just so fucking sick. of people talking about how I look. How many viewers I don't have. That would be the one to get to me. People calling me a fat ass. There, that got to me eventually. It was more so when somebody said that I shouldn't stream because I'm fat. That one got to me. And another one that got to me was the other ones, man, was people coming in there and saying, how come there's nobody else in here? How come you don't have any viewers? How come it's such a small stream? It's like, motherfucker, I'm new to this, bro. Like. I know I've been streaming for a while, but bro, it takes a while to build up a live stream following. I don't have the sub count. I don't have all that yet. I'm trying though. I'm definitely putting in the work, but every fucking day somebody coming there. Why am I the only one here? Why don't you have any views? Why aren't you better? It's like, why don't you do it then? Damn, if I'm so bad at live streaming, you show me how it's done. You go hop on the camera for three to four hours and live stream, and I better see hundreds of people on that bitch. Because how else are you supposed to get people to watch your live stream unless you live stream? It's not like you can just throw on a live stream and people are just going to watch you for no fucking reason. You got to build up an audience, man. That's the thing about live streaming or being a content creator. You got to build up the audience, and you got to be consistent. And so you got to consistently get on there and get nobody watching this bitch, and then just for somebody to come in and keep talking shit, bro, it, 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 it ran me down to the ground. And that's one of the things to talk about, man. This internet hate shit, it, it just gets to you. So I'm not mad at LeBron for being like, man, fuck it. Because, bro, that's how I felt, man. It's just like, and I, I don't have, my hundred. he has 150 million followers, bro. I ain't never going to see that. And it's just like, bro, I can't imagine having 150 million followers and half those, maybe not half, but even 10% of those motherfuckers being haters. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, about 150 million followers, 10%, is what, 1.5 million people who fucking hate you? <laughs> like, bro, and want to talk shit about your son and make videos on your son? They're just like, bro, god dang. 
Ain't nobody want to watch that shit every day because you can't avoid it. As much as you say, well, just get on there. To, no, bro, you can't avoid the hate. You can't. If you get on X, there's going to be some hating ass comments. There's going to be some hating ass people. Honestly, I'm using a whole different platform now. I don't even get on X no more. But I already know with the platform, you know, Blue Sky came out. I already know that platform is going to turn into some toxic ass shit because people are going to go over there. Or maybe, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll never take off. And that'll be perfect. I actually quit saying shit on X because it was like, bro, it's just so hateful over here. I actually talk and I, on X, I didn't get nobody saying nothing to me. I'm just saying it's like, I can't enjoy the content, bro. I found myself becoming part of the problem. I never leave no hate comments, but I found myself hating on Russell Westbrook because X made me hate him. Even though that brother ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know that motherfucker. It has me help. It hate. X made me hate Steph Curry. It made me hate Michael Jordan. It made me hate Kevin Durant. I mean, fuck. It has me hating everybody. Because it's like, man, it's just so much shit. Because people always pin everybody against everybody. If you're a LeBron fan, oh, you got to get pinned against uh, Kevin Durant fans. And then you, that gets you pinned against Ke Steph Curry fans. And then if you're a LeBron fan, you for some reason got to listen to Michael Jordan fans, even though he's been gone for 20 years. And from there, you got to listen to... You know, Kawhi Leonard fans, Paul George fans, Devin Booker fans, Anthony Edwards fans, Jokic fans. And we're all just fighting constantly. And I don't mind there being debate shows. That is entertaining. I get that. But it's just like, it's just such a place of you can't enjoy nobody without somebody hate. If you're a fan of Zendaya, shit, you can like Zendaya and they'll be like, well, I can't believe you fucking like, like Zendaya. She's up, she's up this and she's up that. And it's like, bro, she, we don't know these people. You know that, right? So I found myself hating Steph, uh, Steph Curry. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I don't know him. Bro, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Man, it got to the point where I was hating people. and I, made it, I talked about this yesterday. Bro, I hate women that I don't even know. When the red pill shit was strong, I found myself hating women. And I've been married the whole time the red pill shit's been out. Since When, real, when red pill took off, I was already married. I find myself hating women. Bro, it's like, what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? I had to stop watching the red pill shit because they're like, man, this is hate. All it was was red pill fighting women and women fighting the red pill people on X for a long time. That's what it was. And it's like, bro, and then the politics, bro, that didn't get me started, bro. Like, I can understand some of us thinking, and it don't get me wrong, like, there are some people I vehemently disagree with because... You know um, where my, uh, my beliefs are, but at the same time, it's like fuck. That doesn't mean I have to hate and want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to hurt people. I'm not trying to hurt people, but shit, man, the internet will make you want to hurt people. Just the music will want to make you want to hurt people. Dude, X has so X and Facebook are cesspools. Every time I get on this website, I see somebody getting beat up. I see somebody getting, uh, you know, stomped out. I had to try to block every video I could see of people getting, you know, uh, boom, boom, pow, pow. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, and then even when you get on X.com and you try to go in the comments and you see booty cheeks. You're trying to look at comments that has to do with basketball and you're still getting booty cheeks in the comment section. Somebody promoting that, you know, promoting that blue girls. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, bro, I can't do nothing on here. I'm just trying to have a, a wholesome time. Trying to look at some stats or see what people are saying about the game because I didn't get to see it. And I got to get booty cheeks or I got to get somebody getting punched in their face. Or I got to watch two teenagers fight each other. It's like, bro, well, I don't want to watch that shit, bro. No matter how much you block it, it still keeps coming back, bro. Facebook is horrible, too. Every time I get on Facebook, all I get is... and I, It's like the stupid algorithm. No matter how many times I block it. I just be scrolling, looking at basketball stuff, and then immediately I go into, here's why Michael Jordan is way better for you uh, LeBron fans. And I'm like, bro, I don't even care about that, bro. I don't even care about the argument no more. Like, it's so fucking toxic. I don't care who you think is the best player of all time in football, basketball, hockey. I don't give a shit who you think is the best player, bro. Can I just enjoy the sport? I don't want to have this damn debate every night. I just want to watch some guys play basketball here and there. That's all I want to do. Okay, can I just do that? Then you get on YouTube, man. At first, it's all nice. When somebody has like 500 subscribers, everybody's nice. Like, way to go, dude. You're great. And as soon as they get past that, 
As soon as they hit that 100,000 subscribers or something past that, it's just pure hate from that point forward. It feels like every video is like, man, I missed the old you. Bro, you're not the same. Oh, you fell off. Oh, you're garbage. Oh, you're this. Like, man, you were just supporting me last week. And now that I got 100,000 subscribers, you hate me because I'm not relatable no more. Well, like, like, bro. And even though I do believe that to be true, once you hit a certain threshold, it's hard to be relatable anymore. But damn, that doesn't mean you got to get on there and hate because it ain't you. Like, people hate anybody doing success. You know how many motherfuckers, man, who be flipping burgers on X or anything like that, and they see one person succeed, and they feel like they got to hate? Like, why do people hate themselves so much? Like I said, I get that there's always going to be that one person, but it seems like every motherfucker hates their life, man. Everybody's like, man, I just got to hate. That's all I'm going to do all night, hate. I hate my life. I hate myself. I'm going to just hate. And it's like, bro, that's just so fucking sad, bro. It's just so fucking sad. And I, I don't. It's honestly just to the point, man. Like I said, I've lost. I lost all. The, I don't I don't watch sports anymore. I just look at I just look at the stat line. I, I can't watch it anymore. I, I can't even enjoy it. I can't even fucking enjoy it. Because all night all I'm going to get here is about how this person couldn't win this championship. It's like, man, I can't. I can't enjoy anything about without hearing about how many rings somebody got. I can't watch football because it's always about, oh, you didn't beat this team, so you're fucking ass. It's like I can't even enjoy no players. Fuck, even the sports media sometimes can get negative. It's like, and I get that. Like, I'm not knocking them for debating because normally there's always two sides. I, I don't mind that. But it's just like when you get so much of it on the Internet and then you come to watch a sports show and it's the same shit, you're like, oh, my God, I mean. It's just to the point, guys, I don't even watch content except for on YouTube. Like, I don't watch anything. <laughs> All I look for is positive shit now. And even though sometimes I can seem like I'm being the hating motherfucker, um, I never say stuff like out of pure hate on my heart. And I don't just go out of my way to hate people. I go after people's ideas, but it's normally to help somebody. I don't just say something mean, like off the rip. Like, I'm watching a YouTube channel, and I make a video and go, this person is stupid. That's the video. You know what I mean? I don't do that. I don't just say somebody's stupid and call that the video and then move on. No, man. I'll say, hey, hey, guys, this is why I disagree. I feel like in this in this case, um, this is what happened and this idea. Do whatever you want to do, but I'm just saying be careful. Normally, that's how it goes. I'm just saying just don't get caught up. But y'all saw today, man, I was rooting for you, a YouTuber, and I was like, hey, you got all this time, you're going to use YouTube as free, uh, full-time, then you better get after it. You you be the one to make it out. You be the one to make it out the hood and become something that a lot of us will probably never be, which is the successful content creator. You finally made it past, you keep fucking running, but don't you dare get lazy now. That's all I was making a video, I was like, don't you be one of the motherfuckers who made it out and you squander this bitch. You better become one of the best content creators ever because the way you made it out is completely unorthodox. It's your time to shine. That's the kind of uh, criticisms I give. Be careful. Not just, oh, my God, this content creator made it because I and that was one of the things I was fighting against today when I was talking about this shit because people are hating on people who edit videos or people who are unauthentic. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just because somebody makes a video and they do some editing or make cuts doesn't make them less of a content creator. It's a bullshit ass lie that people on YouTube want people who make unedited content. When I, I mentioned to you guys earlier, Brett Cooper, who came to YouTube, what, three to four? It had that been three years ago. Yeah, 2021, I think. It, uh, around, no, probably 2020. It doesn't matter. It's, it's four years, right? She came to YouTube four years ago and had gotten a million subscribers every year. She's been a YouTuber. She's about to, she's going to hit five million probably next year. So, the, so imagine you got a million subscribers every year you were on YouTube for the first five years you were on YouTube. Her videos are heavily, heavily edited. She has a team of people and she, I'm sure she gets paid a salary because she actually works for a company. I'm sure she gets paid for, gets a higher percentage because it's her channel. But at the same time, it's like, bro, those are edited videos, highly produced, has a team, has somebody who can do the shorts, has all of that shit. And you're trying to tell me that people want to watch somebody in front of a camera sitting in their car 
with no lights, just the light from the moon. You think that's what, or a street light? That's what you think people want to watch. That's what you think people are like, yes, that's what I'm going to give. That's what's going to get millions of followers. I haven't seen no YouTuber do that. I see YouTubers like that get what exactly what I said they're going to get. They get around 100,000 subscribers and their channel completely falls off and it explodes. I've seen so many YouTubers who left YouTube because that's how they started and you can't maintain it. And you can't maintain it. It's hard to keep talking about your life without starting to get too personal. So that's what I always say. It's, it's impossible to keep that up. Because the only way you can keep up a lifestyle channel like that or a channel where you're just a talking head and you just talk about your life and how much money you make on YouTube and stuff, it's hard to keep that up because at some point you're going to have to start getting personal. You're going to have to really start talking about your life. And if you're depressed or if you're sad or if you're mad, it's like, bro, I mean, how long can you do that for, you know? Huh. And so, yeah. So even there, you got people who are hating on people. It's like the people who make videos that edit them and everything like that. Let me talk talk to y'all quickly. I'm sitting here. Let me let me show y'all about I, I, who I was talking about earlier. Somebody who I believe works really hard. Individual name I Nabber. Let me show you how long his videos are. Look at this. Last video, 54 minutes. He makes commentary videos. Last video, 54 minutes. One before that, an hour and 14. An hour and 13. 56 minutes. Three hours and 16 minutes. An hour. Uh, hour and six. Hour and 23. Uh, another 55 minutes on another video. 29 minute video. The video before that was seven hours. Have you ever made a seven hour video? A seven hour documentary style video? This video was seven hours long and has 674,000 views. Guys, do you know how much bread you can make if you make a seven hour video and it gets over 600,000 views? It don't need a million views. It's seven hours long. Remember, you get paid off that watch time mainly. Okay, not the views, not just somebody clicking the video. How long they watch makes that bread. So for him to get 674,000 views, it doesn't even matter how long the retention is. If he has a retention of even 50%, a seven-hour video would be hard to maintain 70% retention as a long video. A 50% retention rate, bro. You know how much money he made? He probably made more money on that one seven-hour video than some people make in a year on YouTube, making 10-minute videos. So that's my point. It's just like, bro, how can you hate people who edit videos? It takes more, it's, it takes more effort to edit videos. Sorry to let you know, but what I'm doing right now doesn't take a whole lot of effort. The live streaming takes effort, but this part right here, when I do overtime, it don't take that much effort because I'm not I'm not focused on anything. I'm just talking. When I'm having when I'm having to react to channels, when I'm having to go back and remember what I was thinking and try to remember the timestamps and set that up and um, commentate on a video, that takes time because I have to watch those videos before beforehand. <laughs> So that may take me four or five hours just to get videos for you guys, to, for me to talk about. But this part, this talking, just sitting here and talking, this part is easy, bro. This is way easier than editing. I got to edit videos tomorrow for TikTok and for here. And I got to make more TikTok videos. That shit's hard. You know, editing and doing all that stuff. This part, just sitting in front of the camera and talking, this is easy. This is always the easy part. So I don't really understand why there's just so much hate of, oh, well, this person edits and this person's authentic. So fucking stupid. <laughs>